We are in the finished portion of a basement. This would be considered a living, family, or recreational room. These rooms must all comply with the receptacle spacing that we've laid out. That's within six feet of all breaks in the wall, doorways, fixed cabinetry, um, anything of that nature. There must be a receptacle outlet and then every 12 feet from that point is a maximum distance for an additional and second receptacle. So you'll see them all around the perimeter of this room and at the point of entry into every um, room that's considered a living space, there must be a switch, a lighting control that controls at least one lighting outlet. There is an exception that that lighting outlet may be a receptacle into which it is anticipated that a lamp would be plugged. We've all seen those homes from the 1970s. That's the way they did it um, from the 50s through the 70s where there was not an overhead lighting fixture. Guess what? That switch by the door and it must be located at the point of entry controls a receptacle outlet and that's code compliant. Walking this direction towards the mechanical room Now there's a lot going on in here. Again, a lighting control by the door. A minimum of one GFCI, general use outlet, to serve the unfinished and each distinct, unique, unfinished portion of the basement is required. In addition, HVAC equipment and electrical equipment must be served by at least one general purpose receptacle. You can see there's moisture on the floor. This is clear evidence that this space is a damp location. It will routinely, because of the foundation walls of the basement, because of the equipment that is contained here, water heater, furnace, condensation, you have multiple opportunities for this to be a damp location. It must be GFCI protected. That receptacle to service this equipment must be located within 25 feet of the heating and cooling equipment. That's a max linear distance. For the electrical equipment, it must be located in the same room or the same area of the room as the electrical equipment. Also, both pieces of equipment must be illuminated, properly illuminated for safe serviceability. That's the requirement, properly illuminated for safe servicing of the equipment.